Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Stavros. So today has been a long time coming. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to make grenadine. Secondly, I'll show you what cocktail works really well with grenadine. And then thirdly, I'm gonna do something on the channel that I haven't done before, so make sure you stick around to the end. Grenadine is incredibly easy to make. Uh, there's a few different recipes out there, but this seems to be the most common one and the, the quickest one really. So that's one of the reasons I'm showing you. Uh, Gene Felix also did, or Gene Felix from Truffles on the Rocks also did a five classic cocktails utilizing grenadine video and he utilized this recipe. So I'll leave a link up here as well at the end of the video and in the description so you can check out his four other cocktails. The one that I'm doing today is featured also within his videos. Gene Felix is a professional photographer. So his uh, video work is absolutely amazing. Um, I wish my videos were up to that kind of standard and he's relatively new to YouTube. So make sure you check him out and give him a subscribe. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with one single cup of white sugar and then, and then pomegranate juice. Now, now I did actually contemplate making this from uh, pomegranate, fresh pomegranate. Firstly, they're $6.95 each at the moment. Uh, it's just the start of the pomegranate season here in Australia. Uh, second of all, because it's the start of the season, these weren't the ripest of pomegranates and therefore there wasn't really a lot of juice in them. Um, and it was an absolute nightmare. Uh, if you've got a benchtop press, uh, benchtop citrus press, then you can utilize one of those. Not many people do. So I thought I'd then take that opportunity to use a um, elbow press, a hand press. Doesn't really work. You get bugger all juice out of it. So therefore I've resulted in just buying the juice. When you're picking your pomegranate juice, make sure that you do get 100% pomegranate juice, preferably not from concentrate. A lot of people do use the Pom Wonderful and here in Australia, it is made from a concentrate. I managed to find this one, um, which I haven't seen before. Uh, it's not from concentrate, it's cold pressed and pasteurized. And when I lined it up against three other um, available ones that I could get locally, this seemed to be the most vibrant and grenadine friendly. So I want to measure out one cup of sugar to one cup of pomegranate syrup, or pomegranate juice. And you can see there, that's looking pretty deep, rich, um, quite vibrant. A couple of the other ones I've seen got a kind of brown tinge to it. Now you want to turn on the heat and put it on relatively low. And you don't want to let this boil, so make sure it's a low heat. Keep stirring. And then we've got one ounce of pomegranate molasses. Add that in as well. And you just want to warm it up until the sugar and that molasses dissolves. I was also looking at a how to make grenadine video by Bruce from Bar Talk and Cocktails. Uh, he makes it quite differently. He essentially omits the pomegranate molasses, only uses the juice and sugar, uh, and then reduces it by half. But then he also adds hibiscus, so it gives it even a brighter um, red sort of color to it. But the only thing is, with that method, it takes a little bit longer. And I'm sure as well, you'd probably get some of the floral notes from the hibiscus. So it hasn't really taken a lot of time at all. This has literally been on the heat for about a minute. And all that sugar is dissolved. So it's just about to start bubbling there. So I've taken off the heat. Uh, with this pomegranate molasses, it's just essentially intensified pomegranate. It's like acidic, super tart, and it just makes it so that you don't actually have to reduce this down. So it makes it much, much quicker. And then this step is optional. So orange, orange flower water, half a teaspoon. Uh, it can be kind of hard to come across. So if you don't have it, then not a problem it's still gonna make a nice grenadine syrup. So I'm gonna transfer it to my Pyrex mixing jug. Okay. 
Now you really should let that cool uh, before utilizing it and before bottling it. Pretend that this has been in the fridge for like half an hour and it's real cold. Sure, Steve. So it does have like a really nice red, rich color to it. Looks quite good. It's quite uh, viscous, it's got a, uh, a nice syrupy texture. And now onto the cocktail to utilize that grenadine syrup. I'm gonna make the Pink Lady. So 60 ml, two ounces of your preferred dry gin. 30 ml, one ounce of fresh lemon juice. And then your chilled grenadine. Oh, that's warm. <laughs> now I don't, <laughs> you can probably still see steam coming off of it. I don't recommend utilizing hot grenadine in your drink. It's gonna add extra dilution and essentially probably cook your egg. In fact, because I'm doing it this way, I'm gonna add the ice first. Then the egg and give it a good shake. And then I'm gonna shake it again. So I'm doing a reverse dry shake. Uh, reason being is it gives a really, really good uh, foam to the top of the drink. And this is exactly what Gene Felix did. So this is the first time I'm trying it. And it, it, it kind of seems counterintuitive to me because you've made the drink really nice and cold. You've removed the ice and then now you're putting your, your warm hands on it and warming it up just that little bit. But it's really not gonna make much of a difference unless you're waffling on like I am right now. And if you want to see a very confident cocktail shake as well, make sure you check out Gene Felix's channel. And you can see the, the foam on this is bang on. This is why people reverse dry shake. So express the, the oils and discard, and there you have a pink lady utilizing homemade grenadine syrup. Cheers. This looks delicious. Wow. This drink really showcases the, the grenadine very, very well. It's quite tart, very citrusy, and it's definitely one you should try. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.